Hi, boys and girls. It's Princess Paintbrush at Paintbrush Palace. Welcome back. I hope you guys um, have had a great week. And I wanted to tell you we have an exciting new project to do. Our new project is a very creative project. Um, it's going to make you put your thinking caps on for this one. You're going to need white paper, crayons and markers, maybe a black crayon, black marker, something like that. So let's get started, boys and girls. And anytime you need to uh, pause the video and stop and, and then push, re, uh, push play again so that you can catch back up, that's great. Okay, let's do this. So today we're going to make a drawing of a super cool fish. Now this is going to be like a fish monster, <laughs> and I'm going to show you something so funny. Because when you pull this flap down, <laughs> he was a really, really sweet fish. Now all of a sudden, he's got some baby fish swimming into his mouth. So you could do this with anything. You could do it with a regular monster. You could do it with a fish. But I thought we'd do fish because eh, fish are kind of easy to do. And this is going to be a crazy looking fish. So I want you to be as creative as you can. So, let me show you how to do this. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to take the bottom of your paper up and you're going to fold it just like this. And you're going to make the corners touch and make a nice fold in it, just like that. Okay? Then I want you to take only one of the pieces and you're going to fold this piece back just like this. And you're going to make another crease. Now, this is what it looks like right here. Okay? Now, I don't want you to do this, but I'm going to take my pen and I'm going to make a little air right here so you can see where my crease is while I'm working because it may be a little bit hard for you to see. Let me, let me do that in marker because it's not really showing up that good, okay? So here's my crease right here, okay? Now, as we're working, you are going to be um, just thinking about what you do before you do it. And here we go. All right, so I'm going to start out here, and I'm going to make, oh, let's see, I'm going to make a, a fish that kind of looks like this and he's going to have some little um, I don't know ruffles coming out with little fins and then I think I'm going to put let's see that's part going to be part of his tail right here making a really cute little tail and here's going to be the bottom part and I'm going to go up here and then come on down with this tail right here now here's where I'm going to make a really big mouth, a really big mouth, okay? And I'll put a line right there. And then I'm just going to start decorating my fish, however I might like to decorate it. Um, I think this fish is going to have eyelashes and a cute little nose. <laughs> um, I'm going to put a line here and I'm going to maybe make some stripes on this. And Maybe I'll do the same thing here. Make some stripes here, make it look kind of like a little fin. And then I think I want to I think I want to add to this because it's just kind of boring. I want to be really creative. Okay, I'm loving it so far. Now, what I'm going to do before I do anything else is I'm going to open this up, and now you can see that there's this bait great big area here. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to connect my top lip with my bottom lip just like that. And then, oh if you want to, you can come out here and you can do more fins. And I'm going to make a double line I think. Oh. Now, right now, <laughs> she's still a sweet little fish. But let's see. I want to put some big teeth on her. Okay. <laughs> I'm 
chomp, chomp. Okay, now, you can have anything swimming into this fish's mouth, anything that you want to. Um, it's up to you. You could put a baseball, you could put a hamburger, you could put um, other little fish. That's, that's, you know, that's up to you. I think I'm going to do a cute little mouth monster. But this is going to be happy because they're going to be friends and she's not going to be eating. And here's a little mouth, a little put little feet. And I'm going to put, I'm going to forgot her arm. There we go. And maybe she has one arm up in there waving hi. Yeah, hi. <laughs> put her little ears right there. Oh, let's put some eyelashes on. Okay, so she's floating in. But see, she's going to go in the fish's belly and everything's going to be okay. Because my, my fish is not mean. She just has big teeth. Okay. And maybe here's this little friend coming. Her little friend that's behind him. And I don't even see the friend. I just see part of the, the uh, his little feet. <laughs> okay. Now, how do I want to decorate it? I'm going to make this be a polka dot guy. Huge polka dots. Oh, I love it. It's so cute. Okay, so now after I get everything drawn, then I'm going to um, I'm going to think about how I'm going to color it. Now, what you could do is if you wanted to make like the background all blue, then um, you could you could do something like this and you could start coloring with your blue just like this. And you color all the way down in the back. I like to kind of think about my background first because if I think about my background first, then I realize, okay, well, I don't need to make any big parts of my fish blue because it's going to make my fish not show up. So um, you, you really want to think about that as you're doing it. And remember, we never color blah. We always color ooh la la. And that's going to make our um, artwork look so good. So, let me get this done. My bracelets are very loud. Okay, so you guys get this, I think. I'm not going to finish coloring this whole thing right now. But here's what I would do. If my water is blue, and by the way, don't just do blue water. You guys know you should always put some green streaks or yellow streaks in there, which would make blue, and that's going to make it look so much more exciting. Okay, so now I can use other really bright colors to make this show up. Because the brighter these colors are against blue, it's going to really show up. So I would not use any more blue in your picture than that because um, I just think that's going to make it just pop out. And that's what we want to do. So there's one example there. And, um, and I, I'm not going to waste your time with trying, me trying to color because I want to show you the other um, little guy to do. And let me show you this one right here. <laughs> He's just a little guy right here. Here's another one you can do. And when I open him up, look, 
there's a little mouse inside his mouth. <laughs> so I'm going to show you how to do this little guy as well. And so you can pick which one you want to do, or you can do them both. That's up to you. I'm good with that. Now, here we go. We're going to do the same thing we did before. I'm going to pull up my paper and match the edges. And then I'm going to fold it down. Now, if you want to do a monster, let me put my little lines. You do not need to do these lines. I'm just doing these so you can see where my fold is. Okay, so if you want to do a, 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 some kind of monster or something, you can do something like this. You can, let's see, I'm going to do something with, I don't know, little antennas coming up from here. Part of his head. Some antennas coming up here. They don't even match. He's so goofy looking. He's so cute. Okay. <laughs> That's going to be his head. And then, if you look, when I'm, when I'm drawing him, I kind of make this line connect right here. So it looks like he's going down like this. And he's going to have some big legs. Cute little legs like that. Mine is. Now remember, boys and girls, I don't want you copying me. I want you doing your own thing. Okay, now I'm going to make some really huge, uh, huge eyes on him. Okay. And I'm going to make a mouth. And you want to make your mouth where it closes. Like that. Okay. And maybe he has a tail that comes out. I don't know. Okay, so once you get it drawn like you like, then you're going to open it up. And remember, when it's open, okay, you can draw the outside of the body, but where the edge of the mouth is, that's going to be where his mouth is. So that's the first thing we're going to draw is this big old open mouth. Okay. And then I'm just going to kind of connect the body for the picture because that doesn't show unless it's folded. And let's see. I'm going to make some big old teeth on him as well. <laughs> Silly teeth. Okay, now I need to think. I think I want some more. Some more, like, antennas or something coming off there. Now I need to think about what is going to be inside his mouth. Hmm. How about a fish? <laughs> How about a fish? I'm going to make a fish here, okay, and I'm going to make a, make a little guy right there. Okay. Polka dot, stripe. <laughs> oh, and maybe there's another fish coming this way, okay. <laughs> Oh, I just had an idea. I'm going to make this be a little scene. He's got the whole ocean in his mouth, and here's a piece of seaweed coming up. <laughs> Look at that. That's funny. So, I'm going to draw an ocean in his mouth. Isn't that, isn't that funny? <laughs> so, boys and girls, again, I don't want you to copy me. I want you to be creative and think of what you can do to make your artwork look amazing and creative. That's the best thing. It needs to be something that you've never seen before. So when I close this up, look at that. And then when I open it, it looks like a totally different thing. And I cannot wait to color these because it's going to be so much fun. And I think when you get it colored, then you're just going to love it. So I'm going to go back um, to coloring mine very quickly because I want to show you I want to show you how things, colors pop. So if I made him, this fish, we talked about warm and cool colors before. Blue is a cool color. So if I make 
my fish hot colors oh he's really gonna show up and hot colors are well I'm telling you I'm gonna put all my colors on here and let's choose them together okay so we have our primary and our secondary colors I'm going to pull my primary over here and that is red yellow blue say so red yellow blue I love you and orange, purple, and green are the secondary colors. But they also, on the color wheel, are near each other. So the hot colors or warm colors are on one side, and the cool colors are on the other. Red reminds me, and orange are fire and hot lava, and the sun is yellow, so those are all things that remind me of hot. Did you see how I put blue and green in my water and that reminds me of cool and when you put your feet in cool grass and grapes grapes are usually cool when you touch them and grapes are purple so here's your hot color here's your cool colors and if you make your background which is your water cool colors oh these hot colors are really going to show up the warm colors so i'm going to color my my guy right here and i want you to look at how that really shows up against that blue. It's amazing. So boys and girls, as you're drawing this, you might want to, you know, stop the video, let the, um, let the, you know, and, and then catch up each time when you finish one little thing, go back to the video. And that will help you um, not feel like you're getting far behind. So, I'm coloring as fast as I can. And here we go. So, notice already how he's really, 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 really showing up. So, I think this is cool. We may even do this in school again because it's so much fun. And you could make just a ton of different artworks just just from doing a different monster or fish each time so and it does it does take you a while to draw and, and color and that's okay you've got as long as you want which is really really nice and fun let's see I'm almost done with the background of my fish, and that's going to be the biggest thing. Hmm, wonder what color I should make the mouth. I'm going to make the mouth red because I want to, and I'm going to put some yellow in it because I never, I never like to do just one color. And honestly, I'm going to come back and streak something in the orange. I think I'm going to put some yellow in the orange right now. Because I can just kind of scribble that in. Ooh la la. Sometimes my document camera doesn't really shot the colors as beautiful as they really are. So, okay, but I've got that. And it's not boring anymore. And I'm going to put a little orange in his mouth. Ah, there we go. And so you need to remember that blue is going to be all around the fish. And boys and, and girls, I know sometimes when we're in class, I'll say, you have to color the whole paper. And then you'll come over to me and you'll say, oh, well, it's colored. And I'll say, uh, that's white. So the only thing that you can leave in this picture that is not colored is the white in the eye and the white teeth. If you want to leave the teeth white, you can. Or you can make your teeth bright colors. Nobody said they had to be white. This is your drawing and it's all about creativity. It's not about copying me. It's about you sitting there thinking um, what you want to do. And if you have more than one piece of paper, you know, you could I wouldn't mind if you kind of copied me to kind of see how it's done, but then you go back and do your own. And um, 
so you know how to do this. And you can just make time to do it. That's really fun. I'm having so much fun coloring. I love my job. I just get to do art all day, and it's just tons and tons of fun. And generally, I try to draw, to draw a cross with water. Um, I kind of went down a little bit there, but that's okay. As long as you feel in the background, I'm okay. And the background is what is behind the fish. And your arm might hurt a little bit, but that's okay. That means you're doing a great job, and you can just take a break for a second. Now, look at that fish. Look at him, how he's showing up. She is. She is showing up, and I love it. Now, I'm going to make her, um, I'm going to make her eye purple just because, no, I'm not. I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to make her eye. I can use blue in here. You know why? Because it's so far away from the other. And where's my green? I'm going to use, her eye is like rainbow colored with cool colors. <laughs> Okay, and let's see, she's going to have a red nose and maybe red and yellow polka dots. So I'll do a red there and a red here. So boys and girls, I'm not finished at all. I've got much more to do. But I did want to show you one thing before um, we go for the day. When you have patterns, I have stripes here, you don't want to color that whole thing in because you made those patterns. So I might do a red and yellow and red and yellow. And red and I'm going to make this whole thing yellow and no I'm not I'm going to make this whole thing red so I'm coloring each little piece in so boys and girls I've still got some work to do on this but I love it this is one of my favorite artworks I've ever done it's so much fun and I knew it would be so here's what I want you to do is pick one of these out or pick both of these out. And I need for my face-to-face -face, um, kids to make sure that, um, that well, my face-to-face -face kids are going to have their artwork here, but my e-learning kids, I want you guys to make sure that you um, bring your artwork back when you come to school so I can see it as well. And if you're a homeschool student, Keep all your artwork together, and maybe you can have an art show at home because um, that's what it's all about, is to look at your work over a period of time and see how great you think you've done. So, let me say goodbye, boys and girls. I'm upside down, but that's okay. Now I'm right side up. I hope you had a great time doing this today, and I can't wait to see your drawings and your colorings, and I hope you have a great time. So, have a great week, and I hope it's tons of fun. Bye!